once again, cyber terrorism is upon us. Now we're reading about Russia attacking Kyrgyzstan and taking the whole country down. The whole country was down. Read the reports, look at the news articles. What does that mean to people of that country? What does that mean to the government of that country? How can a government and people be influenced, affected, bullied by simple internet, by simple PCs? Now you're seeing the effect of reliance on internet, reliance on computing, influencing, changing the way that we make decisions, the way that we live our lives. I bet you, you don't think you have a weapon at home. You have a knife. But you don't have a weapon at home. A knife is used for something as, uh, you know, legitimate as peeling an orange. But you do not carry a weapon at home that could be used by cyber terrorists. That's what you would think. But you have a PC at home. And those PCs, those internet connection combined, becomes a weapon that is used by cyber criminals, cyber terrorists, which then creates a real threat of cyber terrorism and cyber criminals. Now, you are in control of that weapon. You at home, who has a computer, an internet connection, is a weapon. You are a weapon. It's your responsibility to make sure that weapon is locked away and not utilized not abused by cyber criminals. You've just heard the thoughts of Meli Abdulhayolu. If Meli has provoked you on issues like security and trust on the internet, authentication, and malware prevention, please visit www.meli.com for more.